हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम दविंदर सिंह चावला टुडे वंस अगेन आई हैव कम इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू विद ए न्यू वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस लाइक सम पीपल आर क्लेमिंग ऑन द इंटरनेट इन द यूट्यूब एंड ऑल इन द सोशल मीडिया दैट यू कैन गेट ए यू एस ए बी वन बी टू और विजिटर वीजा और टेन ईयर मल्टीपल एंट्री वीजा विदाउट एनी डॉक्यूमेंट्स सो Uh, today i'll tell you all the truth about all these thing so let us start the video as i have already told you that in this uh, video i'll discuss uh, uh, about the uh, claims which the different people are making on the internet or in the social media on youtube or other channel in facebook and all uh, social media uh, uh, that uh, you can get uh, usa b1 b2 uh, visa or visitor visa or 10 year multiple entry visa without any documents so today i'll tell you the truth about it so means how the, the different agents and consultants are uh, misleading the people so uh, let's start the video so let's start the discussion on it first is that uh, uh, technically it is possible technically speaking uh, you can say that you can get a get the uh, usa multiple entry 10 year multiple entry visa tourist visa or visitor visa without the document technically you can say that but practically or fundamentally it is not possible so uh, i'll explain in different uh, like in uh, uh, different points how it is uh, not possible so how how it is technically possible and but uh, how it is not so you can only say it like that but it is not possible without the doc- uh, to get the visa without the document is not possible so first of all i want to tell you when you apply for usa b1 b2 visa or visitor visa you have to fill up the ds160 form so how how you fill the ds160 form you go on to the american embassy website and you fill up this ds160 form online you submit all the information in it in it while you when you fill up the ds160 form the uh, you have to fill it only on the on online you don't have to submit any documents with it so what happens is the same point the agents and consultant raise that is since you don't have to submit the document with the ds160 form so they say that it is you can get the uh, us visa without any document which is not so which is means it's a wrong notion which the agents are spreading in the market so after you fill up the ds160 form you have to submit the embassy fees Uh, that embassy fees is uh, you can say it as application fees is around twelve thousand five hundred rupees. It 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 varies according to the rate of the dollar US dollars. So it can be bit less. It can be bit more also. So it will be around twelve thousand five hundred rupees. And that that's a fees you can submit online also or through the bank account. So you can go to the bank like you can uh, there like you can submit the embassy fees in Axis Bank also. so well, there you will get an id or a, a or a um, or a number they will give you transaction id so that you have to fill in the uh, you you have to fill in the uh, applic- when you submit the application form after that when you uh, fix the appointment you have to fill in it in that uh, form and you get the appointment so either you can submit it online or you can uh, submit it through bank also so after submitting the application form you have to fix an appointment Uh, for the interview in the embassy so when you fix the appointment there are two appointments the first appointment is for the for submitting your biometrics and your photograph in the embassy and the second appointment is for the interview so uh, it takes two days to uh, it is a two day process to uh, after submitting your application form to go for the interview so when you submit the application form after that you get a time of around 20 to 25 days Uh, and the day you submit the application form you get a time of 20 to 25 days between the submission of application form and the uh, and the interview so within that time you can collect your documents you can collect all the things you require to take along with you so it is like that after submitting the form you have to com- uh, you have to complete all your documents uh, in like your itrs your uh, bank statement your uh, all the certificates and uh, all the property documents you can arrange within that time so when you get the interview you have to carry all the documents along with you you are not to submit the document with the ds160 form you have to take all the documents along with you you have to carry it in a file 
so that when you are when you face the interview if the visa officer asks for the documents you can show it there immediately to them so that is the real picture so uh, technically you can say you don't need the documents because when you fill up the ds160 form you do, don't submit any form any documents with it but when you go for the interview you have to carry all the documents along so that you can show it to the visa officer when uh, they ask for it so most of the time like uh, in 90 to 99% cases the visa officer doesn't ask you to ask for the uh, your documents for you you can presume like in the 90% of the cases the visa officer will not ask you for your document so then the you, then uh, the people say that you don't require the documents to get the usa visitor visa but it is not so so please note it and so after filling the ds160 form what are the thing you have to take care of like uh, while filling the uh, first we see what what is to be taken care of while filling the ds160 form you should uh, fill the one uh, ds160 form very truthfully don't hide any information and uh, you should only fill that information for which you have a documentary proof you should be able to prove that if you are filling some uh, your income as such and such uh, amount you should have documents in the form of bank statement in the form of itr or in the form of your salary slips or pay slips or if you are getting some income from rent and all lease deeds and everything should be there so don't uh, uh, submit any information in the ds160 form which you cannot prove so ab- after that uh, now there is a new change in the ds160 form you have to you have to tell all your social media accounts in your ds160 form like your facebook id your instagram id your gmail account and your youtube id also so these things are all to be submitted in the ds160 form and uh, uh, like uh, what is the difference between uh, a canada visa and us visa is that in, this is a interview based visa in canada visa you don't uh, need to appear for any interview you that uh, visa is only document based visa you get the document on the basis of the documents which you submit with the embassy but in this uh, D, in us visa this is all interview based it depends upon the way you present yourself and the way you give answers in the interview on, on the basis of that the uh, visa is granted to you so be careful while appearing for the interview of this visa while you uh, fill up the ds160 form please keep a copy of your 160 form ds160 form with you so and uh, and uh, remember all the things which you have filled it, filled up in it and don't miss out anything don't keep any uh, um, bl- don't keep anything blank in it don't fill all the blanks and all the information which is asked in the form so that uh, your visa is not rejected your and you should remember all the information you have filled in the ds160 form because it is on the basis of that 160 form the visa officer will ask you the questions and you have to give the answer properly and according to the information you have already submitted in the ds160 form please don't try, uh, try to change the uh, answer or don't uh, try to change the information you have already given in the one ds160 form and uh, and most of the question with the people ask me means uh, uh, means how to show the show my income if suppose you have not submitted your itr for this year you can show your income as 30% more than the income you have already shown in the last itr suppose you have filled up your uh, last itr as uh, in which the income is shown as 5 lakh rupees you can in the um, like this year when you have not submitted the itr you can show your income 30% more than that and please don't show means like uh, like if you have submitted 5 lakh rupees itr in the last year so this year you show that it is 15 lakh so that is not the right approach Uh, you can show it only if you have got a proof for it or or you have got a bank statement supporting that or you have got the documents to support that uh, your income is now 15 lakh otherwise you can comfortably show it as 30% more than that so that is the genuine thing and you can go by that so and uh, another thing is that uh, uh, you should have a uh, com- you should remember your all your itinerary and travel plan which you have submitted with the ds160 form please uh, you should remember it by heart so that when the visa officer asks you any question you are immediately able to answer it so you you should not fumble or you should not get confused there that is very important so and uh, 
uh, there are many things means like people ask means uh, uh, if you are means what type of dress I should wear. You should wear only that dress which in which you are comfortable. Suppose uh, you are comfortable in uh, suppose you are comfortable in uh, comfortable in uh, normal shirt and pant. You should wear that only. If you are comfortable in t-shirt and pant, you should uh, wear that only during the interview. So uh, suppose some people do like this. They buy a new coat and pant and they wear that and they go for the interview. They are wearing it for the first time. So naturally it will make them uncomfortable there. So you should uh, wear that clothes which in which you are comfortable. Uh, it's better to wear a plain t uh, shirt and a uh, pant. Like you should wear a light shirt and a dark pant. And uh, appear for the interview in that. Suppose you are, a, uh, you are in business and you normally wear coat pant. Only then you should wear your coat, coat and pant there. You should wear a suit. So that uh, you are confident while appearing for the interview and you are able to answer the uh, questions uh, very comfortably and with confidence uh, so actually some uh, fear is always there when you face the interview like uh, people get uh, nervous it is normal but you should not get too much nervous you should feel confident and uh, answer the question very confidently and in a clear voice don't talk very fast and so please talk slowly so that your the visa officer understands your answer very clearly and uh, precisely so that uh, he, he, he should not feel that you are confused while I, uh, while answering and you he should not see means like notice your nervousness means normal nervousness is okay but uh, too much to be too much nervous it is very it is bad it can lead to the rejection of your visa so that uh, means normal nervousness even the visa officer understands and he will not uh, uh, take it as a negative so Another thing I would like to say, don't change your accent. When you answer the questions of the visa officer, please be in your natural accent and try to normal, and try to answer your question in your normal accent, in your normal voice. Don't try to change your accent to show that, uh, to sound very hi-fi or to sound that I am very much more educated or means I am not uh, afraid of the uh, interview or something. Please be normal in your accent. Where, in whatever tone you talk, in whatever uh, uh, accent you talk, please go by that. Be, only one thing, you should be polite. That's all. You should not be rude to the visa officer. Whatever answer uh, and you give, please give it politely. And don't try to argue with the visa officer. Whatever he or she says, please answer to that question normally and politely. And precisely, precisely means exactly what information they have asked. Don't over answer, means like over answer, means don't give more answer or don't give less answer. You give only the required answer, which whatever information they have asked, you should answer that. And uh, that uh, all your answers should match with your DS-160 form. That should be, that is very, very important. Please don't try to change your information when you go and answer, answer the question in your, in the interview. So that is the real test. So that uh, uh, means like the visa officer is confident, uh, you should convince the visa officer that you are a genuine traveler and uh, whatever you have submitted in the DS-160 form is true. And uh, whatever the uh, documents you are carrying along with you, you should carry it along inside to inside to the, in front of the visa officer and uh, please arrange it in a file in a definite manner, in a definite order. So that, and you should remember at which place I have placed which document. So when the visa officer asks for any document, you should be able to locate it very easily and you should not get confused in front of the visa officer while finding the document. You should revise it two or three times before going for the interview that where I have kept all the documents and in which order I have kept it so that it is very easy to uh, find it when you are in front of the visa officer and if he or she asks for it. And uh, the, these are the different uh, means points we should take care while appearing for the interview for USA. B1, B2 visa or visitor visa or some people call it 10 year multiple entry visa also. So and uh, and and what uh, and uh, some people ask me means what documents I should carry along with uh, to the interview. You should carry all the documents with you uh, like uh, your ITRs, your salary slips, your income proof your job and employment proof, your business proof, your whatever, means your bank statement that should be signed by the 
बैंक मैनेजर वेयर यू आर हैविंग द अकाउंट द बोथ द बैंक स्टेटमेंट शुड बी देयर योर सेविंग अकाउंट स्टेटमेंट योर करंट अकाउंट स्टेटमेंट एंड योर एजुकेशन एंड क्वालिफिकेशन सर्टिफिकेट ऑल्सो योर डेट ऑफ बर्थ सर्टिफिकेट योर मैरिज सर्टिफिकेट एंड एंड योर प्रॉपर्टी डॉक्यूमेंट्स ऑल्सो एंड योर एल आई सीज और वॉट एवर इन्वेस्टमेंट यू हैव मेड यू शुड कैरी इट अलॉन्ग विद यू एंड सो दैट इफ द विद ऑफिस आस्क फॉर एनी क्वेश्चन एनी डॉक्यूमेंट यू कैन प्रेजेंट इट in in front of the visa officer immediately so that will show that you are well prepared for the interview and uh, that will help you in getting your visa for usa and uh, what else is to be taken care of is that uh, these are the major points which i have covered that should be taken care of and uh, about that whenever you go for the interview please uh, be particular about it that uh, whatever डॉक्यूमेंट यू हैव ब्रॉड विद यू यू नीड नॉट मीन्स लाइक वॉट आई वॉन्ट टू से यू शुड नॉट मीन्स लाइक लीव इट आउटसाइड ओके यू कैरी इट इन साइड सो दैट वैन द वीज ऑफिसर आस्क फॉर इट यू आर एबल टू प्रेजेंट इट इमीजिएटली एंड वॉट एवर डॉक्यूमेंट्स यू आर कैरिंग एंड वॉट एवर इन्फॉर्मेशन यू हैव एंड दैट शुड बी नोन टू यूर द पर्सन विच इज दंपनिंग यू like if you are if you are going alone it is okay but if you are going as a couple and husband and husband, husband and wife both are appearing for the interview you, the information should be known to your wife also and as well as you also so the visa officer can ask the questions to you also as well as your wife so be careful they can ask any question relating you to your wife and relating to your wife to you also so be careful about it so they can ask the question from each other uh, from both of you and uh, you have to answer accordingly you should uh, you should not get confused in front of the visa officer you should be sure about whatever whatever you are asking that is possible only if uh, both of you are well prepared for the interview and both of you should go through the ds160 form uh, properly and both of you should remember that all the information which is given in the ds160 form and uh, suppose if you don't un- uh, understand any question so please don't be don't be me shy ask uh, say pardon and ask for the for uh, the visa officer to repeat that question and uh, if you will say if you will ask for the repetition of the question the visa officer will surely repeat it for you and you will be able to understand it and you will be able to answer it and uh, and another question which the people ask is ki uh, uh, means how to appear for the interview means in which language i should appear and uh, means, means i don't know english means how will i answer the questions in english that is not a problem because in uh, in embassy in north india like in delhi they have interviews in hindi english and punjabi also so you can easily choose your language if you are comfortable in english you can appear in english interview if you are comfortable in hindi you can give the answers to the questions in hindi if you are comfortable in punjabi you can answer the questions in punjabi also and for your information i want to tell you that i gave my interview in punjabi so means like uh, it is not important that you should give the interview in english only and only then the visa will be granted to you it is not like that even if you answer the questions in hindi or punjabi even then the visa will be granted to you the language does not matter so be don't be afraid to appear for the interview just for the reason that you don't know english so in hindi in hindi also in punjabi also you can answer the questions of uh, us visa interview and you will certainly get an uh, visa once again i want to tell you that i gave my interview in punjabi only now people will say you speak good english you are making the uh, inter- uh, you are making this video in english why means you are not uh, telling the truth some people will say it naturally that uh, you are good in english you are making even this video in english but then why are you saying that i appeared for uh, my visa in, uh, interview in punjabi i have i have got a proof for that if you somebody is doubtful over it i can show the proof that i gave the interview in punjabi because i am comfortable in punjabi i am not much comfortable in giving my interview in english or hindi so i gave my interview in punjabi so please clarify this doubt and don't be afraid to face the interview you can give your interview in english hindi and punjabi so any uh, so some other questions are also there means uh, there are many questions so i have tried to answer many of the question and many of the things 
so main main thing which i wanted to tell you in this interview was that uh, like the different agents and consultants are claiming that you can get the usa b1 b2 or visitor or uh, visitor visa or 10 year multiple entry visa without the document it is technically possible but not fundamentally or practically because practically and in uh, reality you have to carry all the documents along with you to the uh, interview when you go for the interview in America. so it's like that uh, so some other points are that you, uh, you should uh, be able to answer uh, uh, all the questions about your travel history if you don't have any travel history even then they will ask for it that why there is no travel history and you should be able to explain it uh, clearly that why you have not traveled before if you have got a travel history they will ask you in which countries you have gone and you should be able to tell them clearly in uh, and with dates that i have traveled to this and so and so country on these dates i i means uh, i went there on this date i came back on this date and uh, because it is very important because they want to see that you are a genuine traveler and you will go to us and you will come back and uh, uh, you should remember everything actually everything by heart so that there is no confusion while answering the questions and if you have attached an invitation letter or some of your relatives are living abroad then they will ask you about the details about your relatives and friends who are uh, living abroad and who have given you the invitation letters and uh, you should know every information about them your friends and relatives where you are going to visit them if you if you are going to visit your relative you should know where they work and for how long they have been there and uh, whether they are uh, pr or citizen and uh, how you know them and you should have proof for that also and uh, that is all. basically you have to uh, keep all the facts in front of the visa officer truthfully and moreover what happens is that whatever information you are sharing with the visa officer is being fed into a computer that is uh, processed in central processing unit and that remains there forever and that information is also shared with the canadian government and when you apply for the canada visa even then uh, that information is shared with the canadian embassy if you will not uh, share this information in the uh, file when you prepare for the canada visa then it can lead to the ban in uh, canada so they can ban you for entering canada because that will lead to misrepresentation of the facts even if you will not tell uh, you tell them that i have applied for the usa visa they will come to know it uh, through their uh, their uh, agreement with the usa because they share all the information with canada and other countries also like australia new zealand and uk so be careful whenever you apply to these countries you should share the information correctly and uh, after that uh, what I, whatever is there you should remember all the things by heart what i want to say and uh, what i was saying that it is like it is technically possible to uh, it can you can say it is tech, it is technically you can say it is possible to get the visa without document suppose if you will go for the interview and the um, visa officer does not ask you any document and he grants the visa on the basis of your interview you will also say that i got the visa without the documents so technically it is possible but practically it is like you have carried all the documents along with you so it is not it is not uh, right to say that i get the visa without the documents so that is all means i wanted to tell you means uh, you should be careful about all the ads the all the agents which the, which they say that they will get you a us visa without the documents so uh, and uh, one more thing is when you submit the itinerary and travel plan you should know it uh, exactly in on which dates you are going to which city and you will be staying there in which place you should know the hotel address or wherever you are staying if you are staying with your friends or relative you should know their address and uh, itinerary you should remember it by heart and after that uh, uh, you should have the knowledge of the cities where you are visiting suppose you are going to some place where there are lots of museums like you are going to washington dc there are lot of museums and uh, if you are going to visit those museum you should know their names and you should know which spots you are going to visit and if you have if you are able to tell them about those spots that will be a very good point in helping you to get the usa visa so like if you are going to visit some museum you should have knowledge about them or if you are going to visit like if you are going to know uh, visit new york you should know the various spots which you are going to visit so if you have got a prior knowledge that will help you in getting your visa 
so these are all the points which i have covered uh, in this video i hope uh, you must have got the answer to a lot of your questions and the and the main question that if it is possible to get the visa of usa without documents which i have already told you that even after you get the visa you can claim that i got the visa without the document but the reality is that you had carried that documents along with you to the embassy uh, for the visitor uh, for the visa officer to see whenever he requires so that is all for today and uh, i hope you must have liked this video if you like this video please press the like button and share it with your friends family members and your relatives so that they may also get benefited by this video and uh, please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get the notification of my new videos on from time to time and uh, in, in one more thing i want to tell you in this video is that uh, if you want to get the visa file for canada visa prepared free of cost you can contact me on my mobile number which i have given below in the description and uh, if you means like uh, you can uh, call me on my mobile number and uh, fix an appointment and visit me in my office to get your visa file prepared and uh, last of all which i uh, tell you in every video that i have written a book for you by by going through this book you can apply for canada visa by yourself without the help of any agent or consultant so in this book in this book i have given you all the information which you require for making your file for canada visa it includes all the website names and all the forms you which have to fill up and from which website you have download them it is all given in this book so you can if you go through this book you will come to know all the documents i have given all the uh, i have given the specimen of all the documents or samples of all the documents which you require to submit with the with your uh, application form and how to prepare that file and uh, the complete information is given in it i have given you all it means like all the specimen of the documents and all the website from which you have to download those forms and uh, how to fill them that is also given in it and i have given my telephone number in in this also my mobile number is also there if you find any difficulty after reading this book you can call me and i'll help you in making your file and uh, the price of this book is 450 rupees only and you can pay this price by uh, through paytm or money order after receiving your payment this book will be sent to your address by registered parcel or courier so that was all for the video today okay bye